blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. The cast of Baldur's Gate 3 is packed to the brim with iconic voice actors giving fantastic performances. The fact that so much of the game is fully voiced sets it apart from other RPGs and gives it a distinct feeling. For a game centered around player choice, the sheer number of voice lines specific to your actions makes each playthrough of the game feel truly unique. While there are dozens of iconic voices in the game, it's a voice actor's job to completely embody their role, so there are plenty of times when players will be asking themselves, wait, do I recognize that voice? If you've been asking yourself that question, don't worry, you're not alone. Here's a list of 20 of the most prominent characters in Baldur's Gate 3 and who voices them. If we missed your favorite performance, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Nabair, the annoying fan, voiced by Co Carnage. I wasn't really gonna fight you, I was just trying something out. A nod to the original Baldur's Gate's Nuber and the annoying fan from The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, Nabair is a side character that you'll likely encounter during your adventure in Baldur's Gate 3. In a surprise announcement on Twitter, Co Carnage, a popular Twitch streamer and personality, was revealed to be the voice behind Not Bear. Ko is also known for voicing the Prophet in Cyberpunk 2077. Mizora, voiced by Tamarin Payne. You've been naughty, and you know what happens when you're naughty. By the time Act 3 rolls around, players will have developed a love-hate relationship with Mizora. Though initially, this demon is only interested in Will, Mizora sets her sights on the player character before the end of the game. Voiced by Tamara and Payne, players might recognize her from her role as Los, one of the main characters in Divinity Original Sin 2, Larian's previous game. Raphael, voiced by Andrew Wincott. A path to redemption? Or... A road to damnation. Raphael is another recurring villain in the story who promises to take the tadpole out of the player character and their allies for a price. Raphael's charming, velvety smooth voice is delivered by Andrew Wincott. While Wincott has been involved in multiple games over the years like The Witcher and Sherlock Holmes The Awakened, he's mostly known for his part as Adam Macy in the long-running podcast The Archers. Or in the Red, voiced by Maggie Robertson. How it crawls with failure, like flies on lick-wet carrion. A villain through and through, or in the red is the shape-shifting, ever-fluid menace of Run. Tricky and unhinged, there is no telling what Orin is thinking at any point in the game. She could try to strike you dead in one breath and fall in love with you with the next. Maggie Robertson voices Orin, who you'll likely recognize for her iconic role of Lady Dimitrescu in Resident Evil Village, and her plenty of other great roles in gaming like Scothendi the Unerring in God of War Ragnarok. General Kaferic Thorm voiced by J.K. Simmons. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. The main antagonist of the first stretch of the game, General Catheric Thorm, is voiced by the iconic J.K. Simmons. Simmons has been seen in plenty of films such as Whiplash, Juno, and the entire Spider-Man series as J. Jonah Jameson. He's also done his fair share of voice acting in recent years, giving voice to Nolan Grayson, also known as Omni-Man in Invincible. Lord Enver Gortash, voiced by Jason Isaacs. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. Lord Enver Gortash is another main antagonist in Baldur's Gate 3 that players are going to encounter as they approach the city of Baldur's Gate. A politician by trade, he's set to take over the city unless you stop or join him. Jason Isaacs voices Gortash and is most known for his portrayal of Lucius Malfoy in the Harry Potter series, among other things. The Absolute voiced by Sissy Jones. Now you hear me. Now you yield! Little to nothing is known about the Absolute as you journey through Run, other than it was their work that put the tadpole in the player character's brain. The Absolute is voiced by Sissy Jones, a well-known name in video games for voicing Joyce Price in Life is Strange, Kaya in Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1, and Delilah in Firewatch, among other roles. Alfira, voiced by Rebecca Hansen. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. A tiefling bard and one of the refugees at the Druid Grove you encounter in the first acts of the game, Alfira has quickly become a fan favorite because of her easygoing ways and excellently voiced songs. Rebecca Hansen, the voice of Alfira in Baldur's Gate 3, is making her video game debut with the role. Until now, she's been mostly working as a TV actor in titles like The Witcher, Home Alone, Dixie, and Creeped Out. Volo, voiced by Stephen Hogan. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems 
quite actionable. You encounter Volo at Druid Grove when you first visit it during Act 1, and then you'll see him multiple times afterward in different camps. Volo is a notable vendor since he's always carrying a potion of animal speaking in his inventory. Stephen Hogan voices Volo and has been involved in plenty of different projects across TV, film, and radio. However, he's most well known to RPG fans for giving his voice in Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2. Jahera, voiced by Tracy Wiles. You should never have come here, true soul. A returning character from the original Baldur's Gate games, Jahera has grown a lot since her first appearance. She serves as a central character in the game's main story and a potential companion should you make the right choices. Tracy Wiles, the voice of Jahera, has voiced bit characters in both Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2, and has also voiced background characters in Diablo 4. Minthara, voiced by Emma Gregory. Silence now, creature or I will silence you forever. An early villain and potential companion, you'll encounter Minthara as she's planning to attack the Druid Grove alongside her minions. She's a drow paladin and an early boss fight if you don't choose to side with her. Emma Gregory is a familiar name to Larian Studios, appearing in both Divinity games before making an appearance in Baldur's Gate 3 as Minthara. Outside of that, she'll be recognizable to fans of Harry Potter Wizards Unite as Minerva McGonagall. Halson, voiced by Dave Jones. Hmm, um... I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature. A druid from the Druid Grove, Hal Sin is a potential companion and romantic partners players can encounter in the very early game. Dave Jones plays Hal Sin and is relatively new to voice acting, only voice acting background characters in Diablo Immortal before appearing in Baldur's Gate 3. Carlac, voiced by Samantha Bayart. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A companion and potential love interest, Karlak is a tiefling barbarian with a tragic backstory. Despite this, Karlak focuses on the positives of every situation since nothing seems to be as bad as the situation she's already escaped from. Samantha Bayart is the voice of Karlak and is most famous for being one of the player character voices in the 2020 Demon's Souls remake, as well as Thomasina Bateman in The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow. She is also voiced random in BBC Radio 4's version of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Minsk, voiced by Matthew Mercer. If there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath, it is those who are tricksome with the truth. Minsk is from the original Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, who makes a reappearance in Baldur's Gate 3 as a companion yet again. A human Rashomar warrior, Minsk is a beloved character reintroduced for Baldur's Gate 3. For fans of Dungeons & Dragons and tabletop games in general, Matthew Mercer is not a name that needs much of an introduction. Known for his role DMing in Critical Role and his numerous voice acting credits, including playing Captain Levi in Attack on Titan, Cassidy in Overwatch 2, and recently Ganondorf in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Matt Mercer lending his voice to Minsk is a treat and a half. Lazelle, voiced by Devera Wild. You've proven your courage. I swear you would tear the horns off one dragon to plunge into another. A Gith Yankee fighter, Lazelle is a potential companion who players will meet shortly after being mind flayed by the tadpole for the first time. Infected by a tadpole, just like the player character, Lazelle will appreciate having you by her side in her quest to get the parasite out of her head. Devera Wild, the voice of Lazelle, has voice acting credits in multiple video games like Battlefield 2042, Phoenix Point, Arknights, and Total War Warhammer 3. Gale, voiced by Tim Downey. But friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Excellent wizards are hard to come by in the Forgotten Realms, but Gale, a potential companion and love interest, is one of the strongest wizards you'll likely encounter in Baldur's Gate 3. Although the bomb inside his chest definitely puts a bit of a damper on the mood, his charming personality and can-do attitude more than make up for it. Tim Downey is an English voice actor who is mostly focused on TV series, such as his role in Outlander and comedies like his role in Paddington. Baldur's Gate 3 is his first outing into the world of video game acting. Will, voiced by Theo Solomon. Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Will is the perfect example of hubris coming back to haunt you. Selling his soul to the devil to continue his heroic legacy as a powerful warlock seemed like a good deal at the time, but when the devil comes back to collect, Will needs a way out to save his own skin. With the full release of Baldur's Gate 3, the voice of Will changed hands from Lanre Malaulu to Theo Solomon. This will be the first video game voice acting credit to Solomon's name, but he's no stranger to fantasy voices, having narrated audiobooks such as Warhammer 40k Leviathan, among other titles. Shadowheart, voiced by Jennifer English. I've 
got to move on. Find some place for myself. Shadowheart is one of the main companions and potential romantic partners players will meet as they journey through Baldur's Gate 3. Shadowheart is a cleric of Shar and holds the Mistress of Night in high regard. Jennifer English, the voice behind Shadowheart, is making a return to Larian Studios' voice acting branch after voicing Leia in Divinity Original Sin 2. She was also the voice of Latena in Elden Ring. Astarian, voiced by Neil Newbin. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. The only rogue companion and love interest in Baldur's Gate 3, Astarian has been a fan favorite ever since his introduction in the game's early access. Astarian's story and secrets are a big part of the main quest, should you choose to keep him as a companion. An old hand at voice acting for video games, Neil Newbin is a familiar name for those paying attention to voice actors in popular AAA titles. With credits in games like Resident Evil Village as Heisenberg and Xenoblade Chronicles 3 as Xeon, Newbin brings an excellent level of depth to Astarian. The Narrator, voiced by Amelia Tyler. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Narrator is a disembodied voice that, well, narrates players' experiences and choices throughout their adventure in the Forgotten Realms. Since the player character in Baldur's Gate 3 is unvoiced, the narrator sets the tone for how players' dialogue choices are perceived by those around them. Amelia Tyler voices the narrator and is an extremely experienced voice actor whose list of credits is pretty long. Tyler has voice acted in games like Pathfinder 1 and 2, Hades 2, Divinity Original Sin 2, A Bard's Tale, and Sea of Thieves, to name just a few. And that's our list of the biggest characters in Baldur's Gate 3 and their voice actors. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below who your favorite character in the game is, and while you're down there, remember to like this video, subscribe to DualShockers, and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we post more Baldur's Gate 3 content.